Welcome to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. Use the power of discovering new habits to create success in all areas of life. Body, fitness and nutrition, being, spirituality, passion and purpose, balance, marriage, kids and relationships, business, marketing, sales, leadership and systems. Transform your life by learning how habits work. And now your host, a husband, father, entrepreneur, trainer, coach and warrior. Jesse Yule. Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Yule, and today we're going to be talking about the habit of significance or success. See, today I want to talk about specifically two things significance or success. In today's world, We're looking for one of these, but we easily get distracted. And I really, truly believe that we're looking for success. And if we're not careful, significance will get in the way of our our success. Our view will get obstructed and we'll find something that we may not be looking for. So let's get into today's show. Today's episode is really for the person who wants to be the best version of themselves. I know this sounds cliche, but this is really the person who wants to rise up. This person wants to access and really tap into their full potential. Um, This is for anyone who has influence or the ability to influence other people. And we really all have this, the leader of leaders, the one People look to for the answers, the leader of your life, the leader of your home, the leader of your your marriage, the influencer. So the people who have influence in their lives, and we really all have the ability to do this from, you know, our, our, our marriages, our kids, people in our circles, our clients, our employees, our coworkers, whatever that is, we have the ability to have influence in people's lives today. So more than ever today, in today's world, you have the ability, we have the ability to impact thousands of people through social media. If you think about the major lines and the major platforms that we can organically influence people, there's over 40 to 50 platforms. There may even be more that we have the ability to influence other people for free. See, these social media platforms are similar to what, you know, what I think of people used to do back in the day. And and every once in a while, if you go to a major city, you'll still see this where people stand on the corner and they, you know, have a megaphone and they're shouting out, Uh, Most people today look at those people and they're like, man, they're kind of crazy, but we have the ability to do that exact same thing on social media. And I'm guessing back, you know, 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, this is what they used to do. They would stand on the corner, street corner and preach to, you know, whoever would listen. And now we have that ability to do that on social media. And sometimes you'll see influencers talking and and you'll see thousands, you know, 5,000, 10,000, you know, there was even an event last week uh, with Tony Robbins and Dean Graziano, where I think there was like something like 15 or 20,000 people all on this thing at once. And if you think about that, that's a stadium, a basketball stadium full of people, yet it's on social media. And so we really have this ability to build an audience, to speak, to influence, but I want to talk today about significance and the actual definition of significance is the quality of being worthy of attention and importance. And if you think about social media, you, you know, you make a post on Facebook and you, you like wait to see how many people will like your things to see how many people will give you a heart to see how many people will comment 
you'll post on Instagram and, and you'll, you'll wait and you'll see. And if you, you know, even the algorithm says, listen, you have to respond to people within so much time of them commenting or it bumps the algorithm down. And so everything in our life today is, is going towards this idea of being worthy of attention, being worthy of importance, this significance. See, when we want significance, we want to feel important like we matter. But significance, after a, a while, when we start, you know, wanting to build this up, it often feels unsure or insecure. Even in today's world, we have the ability to buy likes, buy friends, buy comments, buy anything on social media to feel influenced. Like there's people literally messaging me every single day saying, hey, I can get you 10,000 friends for X amount of dollars. I can get you, you know, 500 likes, 20 comments on every post for X amount of money. And I'll be honest with you. I did that last year. I did that to make myself significant. And what it really got me was the exact opposite. And so as I speak to you to this today, I want you to know that this is something that I experienced myself because wanting significance is not bigger than you. Wanting, a, wanting to be significant is not bigger than you, which means that, hey, if I want to be significant, it's all about me. It's all about my ego. See, significance is a one-dimensional game. It's all about popularity. It's about feeding your ego. And guess what? There is everyone. Look at, look at people who have thousands of of likes, tens of thousands of likes, hundreds of thousands of likes, and you'll see that the majority of people who like their stuff aren't even real people. And I truly believe this is because significance has became so popular inside of social media. It gives us this sense of feeding our ego. It gives us this sense of having us feel like we're more popular than we actually are significance comes across as insecure. Now, this isn't for everybody, but I've had personal experience with this. I've had my own account messed up from this. I've had my own experience from this, and so I'm speaking from this. See, some with significant never thinks anything beyond themselves. Significance is about feeding into the feeling of feeling important or feeling worthy. Because here's the thing. Do you need a massive following for significance? Do you need a massive following to feed your ego? Do you need a massive following to make yourself feel important, to make yourself feel better? Because here's what I know. Even having this many people like my stuff, I really started to second guess myself, my message, because it wasn't reality. It wasn't from the truth. It was from merely a place of feelings. And when I went after the feelings first, I got lost in the truth. I got lost in the facts. And when I go after significance first, I'm getting caught up in the feeling of feeding my ego and the feeling of feeding that worry, that insecure to make myself feel important. So where in your life are you searching for significance? Think about this. Maybe it's inside of your physical fitness. This is a place we often do this. We search for significance and how our body looks, how we look to others. We work out for hours and hours. We eat a specific way to make ourselves feel significant. Because if we lose sight of why we're actually doing it, it's very easy to fall into this. We often, you know, post things on social media, you know, all positive stuff sometimes to feel significant. So people feed our ego and tell us how positive we are. Sometimes it's the opposite. We post things that are always negative 
to make ourselves feel significant. Maybe it's in your business. Maybe it's all about you and your business. It's not about your clients. It's not about your employees. It's all about you taking credit for everything. Or maybe it's even in your relationship. You want all the attention on you to feel significant. So where in your life are you trying to feel significant? Now let's talk about success. What is the difference of success versus significance? See, the definition of success is a person or thing that has had success measured by a result, measured by an attainment of a goal or wealth. It means that to have success, to have created success, we have accomplished something. We've accomplished a result. We've accomplished a goal. We've accomplished some type of measurable fact, some type of measurable attainment. And that's the difference. Significance only measures off ego. It's feeding our ego. It's not off of an attainment of goals. It's almost like a false sense of feeling. It would be similar to winning a race, but knowing you cheated on the race and you won and you walk around and you're just focused on you and you're not worried about the people you screwed out of their placings. But Here's the reality is true success is about doing whatever it takes to be successful. Sometimes that means you have to bring other people into your life because if they don't succeed, you don't succeed. See, being significant is about being one dimensional. Succeeding is about being multidimensional. It's success isn't always about being popular. Success isn't always about taking the easy route. Success is about everyone else around me. It's not just about me. And so when I focus on success, I'm focusing on others. I'm focusing on people I have influence over. See, the more influence I have, the more I realize I have a responsibility to impact all these people. Success is greater and has a vision beyond just me. Success has a vision beyond just me. Significance has only you in a one-dimensional game. It's all about me. Success is about creating a vision beyond me. Success is about feeding other people. It's about leaning into other people. It's about helping other people. It's about encouraging other people, knowing that if they win, I win. And if they get better, I'm getting better. See, significance doesn't think like that. Significance thinks if they get better, they may get better than me. And I may have to cheat or do something to prove that I'm better. See, I believe you have to feed yourself. The difference is, is feeding yourself first is that you have enough energy to feed others. Significance is when you have enough to feed others, but you only feed yourself. Success is about feeding yourself so you can feed, you have the energy to feed others. Significance is when you have enough to feed everyone else and you only worry about feeding yourself. See, my success is really built around the influence, the influence of other people because without their success, I wouldn't be where I am today. And without my success, some people wouldn't be where they are today. And so we have the ability to influence, be an example to others. You know, most notably, we all have this. We have the ability to influence our, our marriages, our kids, our families, our businesses, the clients we come in contact with, the employees, the coworkers, it goes on and on. And so no one that is on this listening to this does not have the ability to have influence over other people. We all have this ability. But are you searching for significance or are you searching for success? So here's Here's a few ways or a few questions that we can begin to focus on creating success and not letting significance get in the way 
of what we're really trying to do. So what's your platform of influence in your life? Find out what this is. Maybe it's employees, clients, maybe it's men, maybe it's women, maybe it's moms, maybe it's couples. Work on identifying who you have influence over and then de decide, hey, how am I showing up on this platform? How am I showing up? Am I seeking significance or am I really truly looking for success? And the last thing is, is what changes do you need to make to shift, to create success for you and others? Because I really truly believe if you're truly trying to make success and making success, it will be about others as much as it is about you. And yes, you, you have to have success in yourself, but by doing that, you are also giving others success and having a vision for them to see, hey, I can see what's possible. I can see the impact this person's making in my life and those around me. And that is the most powerful thing to do. So we all have the ability to lead no matter who you're leading. We have the ability to influence no matter who that is. Everyone is watching. Make sure that you are creating success and not getting blinded by significance. So I want to thank you guys for being on today. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me, Jesse, at habitbasedlifestyle.com. If you are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit Based Lifestyle Secrets Group, where I'll be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. Maybe you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle. Feel free to reach out to me, Jesse, at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Or check out my website, habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day.